Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to be troubleshooting an inventory that I created in Ansible Tower and I connected it to GitHub. So the idea was that it was if I go and make some changes to the inventory file it would pick it up as it runs playbooks and it did not do that. So uh, that's uh, I'm just going to be going through that. Uh, and kind of documenting the steps uh, just in case anybody else has any other issues like this. So basically I'll kind of go through the first, second, and third things that I did and we'll just kind of take it from there. So basically uh, as you see I'm going to be uh, doing installing a Mongo database replica set, three of them. So uh, I'm just going to first test it with before I install Mongo, I'm just going to test it with an update, make sure it's good from the Ansible side, and then I'll take it out of RHEL hosts and uh, and then have its own Mongo section. So, for example, if you're updating, you're going to, I believe, have to add another repository, like a MongoDB repository, and I'm not sure if uh, I want to be updating that Mongo section all the time if it's like different versions that you're going to be automatically updating I don't know if I want to do that on a monthly basis uh, so like I said this will be just for test testing make sure everything works and it didn't work so what we have here is this is me running the update all playbook after I made that change and you see there's only serve one and serve two so I'm going to take a look at this and see what the deal is. Uh, first thing is there is something where we can just do a uh, like a like an, a manual sync, but that's kind of not the point. Uh, so here it shows uh, 11.07. It's synchronized from GitHub. So that's that's nice, but. Uh, Okay, I don't know what this is, but the point is it didn't pick up those new hosts. So if you go into the inventory here, it still just shows um, well, host section here. Uh, it didn't pick anything else up. We should have a Mongo section uh, and we should have three more hosts in the inventory. We do not have that. So this is my uh, start sync here. Like I said, I, I'll do that last because I'm pretty sure that will sync it up. But I mean, like I said, the uh, it should do it before. So this is kind of my thing. Is if we have name GitHub here sourced from a project. That project is ddsec. This is a thing that points to my re repository on GitHub right there. So that all matches. That's good. But as you can see with sources and here. So you can see that's where it's being picked up. But the whole point is update on launch. I mean the tooltip each time a job runs refresh the inventory. I thought that was the whole point. Um, so I don't know if there's anything else I can do short of just manually syncing, but I, I don't want to. OK. So these are, and it shows 1109. So maybe it could just be a time thing. Like I, if I did it like within a minute after, and I did it really quick, for example, I added the playbook. I committed and then I ran it probably within 45 seconds. So maybe that was an issue. So for example, if anybody else uh, is having it, an issue like that, let's just do a run again without me manually updating the inventory repo. And let's just see if it picks it up this time. because I think the whole point is to have these things automatically 
picking up on these changes. So, and if not, it's still kind of useful. It's just one extra step. So we'll see real quick here what we have for these. And I already added the Ansible user to those three hosts. So we should be good on that front. And it's just an update. Uh, there's nothing else being done. So we'll see right here if it picks up the other three. And if it doesn't, then maybe I'll pause and uh, look at something else. And we're back. And I'm going to stop this running here. Uh, basically, what I forgot to do is MongoD0, 1, and 2, which are the ones that I'm trying to update and add. Did not have Python installed, so I'll do that real quick. And I'm just going to cancel this job because I expect it to fully work when that is installed. And one other thing is keep in mind I didn't change anything on the inventory. And now if you look at the inventory, so it shows, uh, well, successful jobs. Okay. Uh, let's, I'm trying to see when it was last synced. Okay. 18. So it was last synchronized and a little bit after. So here, let's look at this one more time. Okay. So 1109, I updated all but it didn't, it wasn't synchronized at that point. That was like a minute after I added the hosts, the new hosts to the repository. And then it shows most recent sync was on 11.18. This is the job that I was trying to do just now and it failed. So keep that in mind. Basically it's pretty anticlimactic, but if you look now, MongoD 0, 1, and 2 are there and the uh, hosts, the groups are there too. So that's good. It did exactly what it wanted, what it, you'd expect it to do, I guess. But the point is uh, you might just have to give it a little bit of time uh, instead of like running it within a minute of when I did it. So I guess I'll keep this running and I'm just going to install Python 3 on uh, these hosts here and then I'll just run it real quick and then we'll just... Uh, We'll just conclude at that point just to kind of show that the import of these hosts worked. And we're back. And just to show uh, Python's installed, Python 3.9, uh, the newest version. So Red Hat names it Python 3.9 instead of uh, Python 3. Uh, but MongoD 0, 1, and 2 have those installed. So this is just another uh, nice thing about Cockpit here is you see MongoD1 and then you can just go to MongoD2. All good to go. So right now I'm just going to run that job again and it should work this time and we should see it right away. Uh, so we don't need to wait for it to finish. We should see it right away here picking up those hosts. So that's good. So that's interesting. You just saw that it didn't come up right away. That I wonder if that is because it was, uh, because it was, yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's synchronizing as it's as it runs. So that's what I was. The only other thing that I wanted to show with this was the. Uh, these little green dots. Yeah, see, we're good. Uh, but the only other thing I wanted to show was that these little green dots you can, are clickable, as we just saw. And you can get some information from them for troubleshooting. So here, like you see, uh, successful jobs. The last one was 1109. And then the update, 1133. So you see that last sync? And so this is the one that just happened. So this is actually good information if you're having some issues uh, and then you can see like if something is behind or something is not working and I think you have uh, these show up throughout Ansible Tower. So just be aware that you can click on these things and get some information and as we can see the job is going to be running 
successfully uh, just because it picked everything up. And final look at the inventory. Let's just see if any hosts have changed. Not yet. So this is the last successful job. And again, green, uh, green little button here. And this is uh, just another thing. So it's not only kind of eye candy type stuff. It actually gives you some information. And it looks like you can drill into that too. So just be aware of that. I think that's kind of a nice feature. All right. That's all I had for this video. Uh, so basically, long story short, is you might have to give it maybe more than a minute if you update your inventory and then you go to run a playbook right from that. That's basically it. I didn't do anything uh, to get this to work. And that's good. You don't want it to because it should work on its own. And we see that it did. So that's all I had for this video. And stay tuned for future videos.